Hey! What the hell are you doing in here? Get out of my room! Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to make your own Super Smash Bros. meme. Okay, so to start off there's a few things that you're going to need. The first thing's going to be the actual footage that you're going to use to edit. The second thing's going to be the theme from Super Smash Bros. And the third thing you're going to need is... Fuck off. Now the third thing you're going to need is a paint splat. You can just go onto Google Images and have a look through and see which ones look quite well you, you know just save that as a file and then upload that and the fourth thing you're gonna need is a background you can just again google like a color background and see which one you think is the best and then use that what you're gonna need to do is import your audio file first and then your video over the top now you're gonna wanna trim it down so that it can fit to the music also you're gonna be learning how to edit along with the music Hey, what the hell are you doing in here? Get out of my room! That went over the top a little bit. We're going to cut it down so that it fits better to the music. Let's drag that over here. Hey, what the hell are you doing in here? Get out of my room! Ah! So that's actually pretty well done. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when making one of these edits is you get to the point where the music like kicks in and the, also the point at which you want the picture to be shown is where you make a freeze frame so you just want to click on the freeze frame and make sure that you export the file and then just save it as whatever so that you can come back to it and edit it the next step is to go into photoshop and actually edit the uh, part at which you want the video to stop import your picture now from here what we want to do is actually edit me out of this background so that we can add our own background so you just want to simply refine the edges and you know it's pretty straightforward if you do have trouble with it um, I've got a little technique that I'll show you in a minute but for now we're just gonna see what this looks like so I'm just gonna do like a rough edit of this and you can see that you know we just add the background to that. Uh, if you are having trouble editing this, because I had quite a bit of trouble with this myself, uh, what you're going to want to do is just simply select the rubber tool and you can, you know, rub out all the edges. I'm just going to do like a really rough version of this, but if you take more time and you do it more intricately, you will get a much better picture. So. All we're doing is rubbing out the edge parts. I'm just going to go over this to make it quicker. Uh, just like that. Then we're going to do this side. Like so. Cut through the fingers and the thumb. No problem. Now you just want to refine the edges all inside here. Uh, I don't bother smoothing or feathering it down because we're adding the background to it anyway so I'm going to add the green. Now all I want to do on this bit is we're going to paint fill the background in green so that we can green screen it. <laughs> There's a little bit there that goes through. And then you just save that as a picture and that's the background done. Make sure that you override the save file as well so that you can save it as a new one that way you don't have to mess around with the old copy. Now come back into your editing program, import the image that we've just photoshopped. Now that we've got that, what we're going to do is we're going to cut here at the point that we've just saved and we're going to delete the video but keep the audio so that the audio overlaps into the picture. Now we're just going to add the photo first. Now obviously there's a green background so we want to chroma key the green off of this. So just add that to the image, click the green background and then put the similarity onto 100%. You can blend it a little bit if you want, it just sort of you know, makes it fit into the background better. Now we need to put the background underneath our image and then just scale that up so that it fits like so and then what we need to add again 
is the actual paint splat so that we can add the text over the top. So I'm going to move the image up one uh, track and then put the background here. So now you can see we've got a pretty cool looking paint splat and you can move this wherever you want. Uh, some of them are cut off like you can see this one's cut off at the edge and that's fine you can just move it further up and then scale it a little bit if you like and you've edited the image it puts it perfectly in line with that freeze frame so you don't have to mess around moving it but I'm going to show you a little trick if you don't do it that way or if you want to put the image elsewhere I'll show you this trick of a transition where it still looks seamless even if it's not in the same spot so that trick I was just talking about um, I forgot to show that earlier on uh, I'm quite far into this edit at the moment so if you're a little confused don't, don't worry about that I'm gonna get to that in a second uh, the transition I was talking about the little trick is basically if the image is not in the same spot after that frame for instance if I just show you it, it it's pretty much the same frame maybe a bit further on but I'm talking if the image was like here obviously you can tell frame by frame that it's different but if we were to just put this transition clip in I choose the transition dip to white because with the thunder effect it makes it look like sort of a uh, lightning now you just want to put those between the clips it doesn't really matter as to what clip you put it on um, I would say the best clip would obviously be on the freeze frame right here um, but it, it it's really up to you on what style you want to go for ah! 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 and now if I remove the transition ah! see it looks much better and more professional if you do add things like that it's just a neat little trick I think that just makes the meme look a whole lot better and in more depth but it's honestly up to you that's just my style if you don't want to do that then you know that's totally fine so next what you're gonna wanna do is add some sort of sound effect now for me personally I prefer the thunder sound effect now you can find some stock footage on YouTube what I do is I add the thunder effect right up to the point where I know that the image is going to show so you'll see what I mean okay and the next thing you're gonna wanna add is some text so you can just add the text and put it over the top now you're gonna wanna make sure that the text is actually near to the paint splat but it doesn't have to be it just looks better if you do and I'm gonna show you what font I use and what effect so we're just going to put Autistical and then go to Style and if you just come down I'll show you exactly which one I'm using. It doesn't really matter which style you use but I personally like to use this one right here. Uh, Poplar Standard Black 126 Heavy Outline White Black. Okay now that you've got that set up you're going to want to click on your text again and then click on the font tab and right at the bottom there's a font called Adobe Hete I think that's how you pronounce it anyway that's the one that I like to use for all of these and I'm simply just going to move it over here um, I'll also show you a few more effects you can use on it so click on the text now go to the effects panel and just type in the 3D so I've got basic 3D, put that over the top and then you can you know make it look more like it stands out I'm just gonna leave it how it is uh, oh, one sec I'm just gonna leave it how you get it when it starts because I think that looks pretty good but you can mess around with the settings and change it however you like so I'm just gonna put this here probably make this bigger and then we're going to add another text layer and this one is going to be edited slightly different but essentially it's got the same like effects to it and you can put whatever you want in this text we're just going to put I don't know something random uh, stays classy there we go so again make sure you click the exact same style but this time for the text um, same font but we're going to edit the color 
Now, I like to go for a colour that matches the background so that it sort of blends better. So I'm just going to go for like a dark green. That looks pretty good. And then to make the text stand out even more, we're going to click on a linear gradient. Whoops, should have done that first. So pick the dark green and then you can edit the gradient however you like. So, you know, I, I prefer to just keep the white just at the bottom so that it just sort of accents the rest of it. Um, you can also add drop shadows. These are pretty cool. It doesn't really matter if you do or not. It just makes the image look a little better. You can also change the angle and the softness. Uh, that looks good. So I will just bring that over here. Now you can see that it's covering up my face. So what? there's two things you can do. You can move the text out of the way or you can move the image. Just for the sake of this video, we're gonna move the text over to here. Make sure that they're all lined up perfectly as well. And then, the next thing you want to do is actually edit the movement to it. So right now, it's pretty stable. As you can see, this is just a pretty rough job, but if you uh, do want to make the text stand out more, and the backgrounds move so that you've got that clean sort of an animation looking sort of style you can just come over to your video section on the track that you want to edit make sure you add a keyframe right at the beginning and make sure the animation is toggled on so just gonna do that now you'll know when it's toggled on because these will all light up at the side and then you just want to come right to the end of the clip and then edit the text. You can do what you want with it. So I'm going to move it down a little bit and to the side. Another neat little trick I like to use is if you just take the first few frames of that. So we're just going to go to here and cut the video so that they're two separate clips now. And then come back to the beginning. And what we're going to do is we're going to reset the animation on this one. So make sure you click that button. That gets rid of it all. And then frame by frame, we're going to move the text around. Make sure that after each frame, you keep moving. Because if you to just do this and move along with the arrow key, nothing's going to happen. So if you come back and then, like I said, edit frame by frame, you can do whatever you want with this. But what that does is it creates like a really fast sort of jittering text. So make it look like it's flying in and then what you've got is the final result now you can do this exact same for the second clip so again I will show you make sure that you add the keyframe at the beginning I've already got that one for this uh, the motions already enabled on here so I'm gonna just come over to the end move the text over here and that's pretty much it so if you want the same as the bottom text to where it moves around, make sure you get it on the exact same spot and cut it. And then do the same again. So I'm just going to come over. And, oops. <laughs> you gotta, you got to remember to keep resetting your um, animations each time you do this so that you don't get the previous animation. So, again, I'm just going to go crazy with this one. Do this one like up and down, diagonally. Yeah. Okay, that's not will do. And that's pretty much it. So as long as you follow those steps, um, it won't take too long. Uh, if you're going to make a long one like I did, it's going to take a very long time. But after a while, you sort of you know you'll learn how to do it and you'll get better at it. If you did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like it really does help the channel show up in searches and things like that. Also feel free to leave any comments down below on future suggestions for videos like this one. I'd just like to say thank you for all the recent support on the channel it's been absolutely insane you guys are fantastic and you're always giving me extra support to continue doing what I'm doing and if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you stay notified on all of my uploads. And that's pretty much it guys so I'll see you later.